Uh, hello, my name is Matthew, and I just read The Glorious Scott by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. This is a part of my read-along series and book club with Steve Donahue. We're reading murder mysteries in the month of March, and we're reading all of the Sherlock Holmes short stories. I've wedged myself in here <laughs> in the attempt to keep uh, Andy in camera. And I read The, uh, the Glorious Scott which is a very different kind of story than anything, uh, any of the short stories that I've read so far. It begins with uh, Sherlock and Watson in the apartment having a conversation, and then Sherlock uh, giving Watson uh, some documents to look at. And Watson um, start, starts reading the documents, and it's about a case and Watson goes, well, okay, but what is this? And Sherlock says, well, this was my very first case. And Watson mentions uh, to, to the reader that he had, through the years that he had known Sherlock, um, had asked him uh, about his origins. What, what's the origin story of Sherlock Holmes? What is a young Sherlock Holmes like? And up until this point, uh, Sherlock, uh, according to Watson, had been very evasive on this point. And now uh, Sherlock is in the mood to uh, share a story with Watson, and of course Watson is very interested uh, to hear. And that there's, there's a, a story, a typical uh, tale Hold, we get a, a great ship scene and a, and a mutiny and um, all the things that you might expect from a Sherlock Holmes short story. With something really, with something missing, a, a couple of things that are missing. One is although uh, the story that we're reading is uh, framed as Sherlock and Watson in an apartment with Watson reading the writings of Sherlock. In the story, this is the, the first time in, in the stories that I've read so far where Watson is not an active participant in the main action. Instead, he, he's um, a passive character just um, learning about a story that had already happened. And as a result, you can really tell um, that, 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 that chemistry, the buddy, um, com, uh, the, the feeling of camaraderie, um, the fraternal feeling between, um, Sherlock and Watson is, is not there. We do get, um, moments where Sherlock does, does his usual, uh, trick where he can look at someone with a cane and know that quite recently someone has been after him and, he wants to have a, a, a weapon at the ready, and he pours lead into the head of his cane, and he's been to Australia, and he's been to uh, Japan, and uh, all the ways that Sherlock can dress down a character. Um, but it's also not Sherlock at the complete height of his powers, uh, the, the way that we've seen in so many of the short stories. Um, it also felt like this the writing style was different. It really felt like um, that w we were reading something from Sherlock's perspective uh, or from Sherlock's hand compared to Watson's hand. I, the main thing that makes me think that is uh, I, the uh, dramatic quality that is in so many of the uh, Sherlock Holmes stories uh, is not quite there, and it also felt a little bit more confusing, a, a little bit more bewildering. Um, things not really coming together um, until the end, a, a, as if it's as if it's Sherlock um, writing while he's thinking a million miles an hour and just b believing that people are making connections and they know. Um, that they can make all of the inferences and deductions that Sherlock can make that are um, unknown to um, 
Watson or the general uh, reader. Um, not the best story, not, not the best tale. It's hardly a case uh, in the sense of so many of the other Sherlock Holmes short stories. Uh, still interesting. The, the story that, uh, that I just read before this one, the, um, uh, the case of the stockbroker's clerk, uh, that one we got a bit of an origin story on Watson. And then it's immediately followed up by the Gloria Scott story where we get an origin story on Sherlock. And so as these as these stories are building um, building up and more and more of them are coming out, um, we're still getting a tale of the week, but um, the, the, the surrounding um, overarching atmosphere and uh, setting that these characters are in is becoming uh, richer and more fleshed out. We're learning um, more about Sherlock's past and Watson's past. Um, I, I just love that they have two different lives and these uh, very memorable, exciting um, inter in intersections that Watson is writing about. Um, so that, that's what I'll say. This is a rather short, uh, <laughs> shorter than the rest. I'm, I'm shocked that so many of these videos have gone so long. Um, but uh, The Gloria Scott by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, um, very insightful uh, as to the nature and origin of um, our principal characters. So um, I'm excited to see um, how, how many more peripheral moments like that happen uh, throughout these uh, short stories. So, uh, The Gloria Scott by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Um, let me know if you've read it. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please leave a comment if you would like, and take care.